All right, it says, And the ones who heard were saying, Baruch Hashem. And they said to him, You see, Akba Mashiach, they're referring to Rav Shaul here, how many thousands there are among the Yehudim who have Imunah. He's talking about faith in our Mashiach. And they all have Kanos. They have zealousness. They are Shomer Mitzvot for the Torah. We're talking about the Sinai Covenant and its Mitzvot. And these Orthodox Jewish Ma'aminim, Hamashihiyim, have heard a rumor informing them about you that you teach the Yehudim living among the Goyim in the Golas to be shmod and to commit apostasy from Moshe, Moshe Rabbeinu. In other words, uh, we're talking about Orthodox Judaism. Telling them to abandon Bris Milah for B'nai Yisrael and not to be shown regarding the Darhe HaTorah, the ways of the Torah. Uh, and here there's a reference, Bamid Bar 6, 2 and 5. What then is to be done? Certainly these Orthodox Jewish Ma'aminim, Hamishiyim, uh, i.e., who have him on our Rebbe Melech HaMashiach Alameinu Yoshua, Acts 21, 20, will get word that you have come, in other words, that you're in the city, that you're in Jerusalem. Uh, this, therefore, do when we tell you. Do what we tell you. There are with, with us Arba'a Anashim, four men, who are under a neder, nezirim, a vow, Go, take them for he'd had to shoot purification. He, I'm sorry, he'd cut his shoot. And purify yourself with them and pay expenses for them that they may cut their hair. Then all shall have das, that there is no emis, no truth to the rumor. Then it shall be clear that you are that you yourself are in agreement and from regarding the Darhe HaTorah and that you are Haredi and Shomer Mitzvot in the ranks of those who practice Orthodox Judaism. Now there are many people who do not understand this passage. They do not understand the Torah vis-a-vis -vis the Jewish person. You see, the Torah is what created the Jewish people. And by doing what the Torah says, by going to the shul on Shabbos, etc., they maintain their peoplehood. God does not want the Jewish people to disappear. He doesn't want them to assimilate. He doesn't want them to lose their Jewishness. So, in the book of Galatians, we find out that there's a shalichas to the Yehudim and a shalichas to the Goyim. The shalichas to the Yehudim is headed up by Yaakov, Ben Dovid, uh, Kipa, and Yohanan. The shalichas to the Goyim is headed up by Rav Shaul and Barnabas. And uh, these, these are two different ministries preaching the same Besorus Hage Allah, but in different contexts. And going to the Jewish people, becoming like the Jews. Going to the Goyim and trying to identify with them. And uh, there were people who were using Lashon Hora to vilify Paul. But we know that Paul always lived as a as a observant Jew. And uh, you can go through the book of Acts and you can see this. On Shabbos, he's not shopping down at the market. He's in shul. And not only that, but he's in a big hurry to get back to Jerusalem for the festivals. And he 
never stops being a rabbi. Uh, of course, he's a shaliach sent by Moshiach, who arrested him on the Damascus Road and turned him around. So today I'm speaking about the Shalikas to the Jews. Now way back in 1971, when I started translating this Bible, the Orthodox Jewish Bible, the first book that I translated, well actually there were two books. One was the book of Esther, the, the, the Megillah, the Megillah, Megillah, Megillah Esther, and the other one was the book of Acts. So I, I learned my, my Hebrew and my Greek inductively with those two books. And those were the two books that, the first two books that got done in this translation. But I also wrote this book, Everything You Need to Grow a Messianic Synagogue. Because I know that the Jewish people are going to form messianic congregations and they're going to be shuls. They're going to be synagogues. They're going to be very Jewish. And uh, the Lord showed me this way back in 1971, only four years after the Six Day War, when, when a revived interest in the Messiah was going on all over the world. You see, the Torah is extremely important. The, by the Torah, we, know, we have the knowledge of sin. We know that we are sinners because of the Torah. Uh, so one of the things I did when I did the Arab Shabbat, uh, I put the Ten Commandments in the, in the actual uh, synagogue uh, service so that when the Jewish people would meet on Friday night, they would see, Anohi Hashem Elohecha, Lo Yiyeh Laha Elohim Aharim Al Panai, Lo Tisa Es Shem Anonoi Elohecha Lashav, Zahor Es Yom Hashabbat Lakadisho, Kabed Es Aviha. Es Imeha, Lo Tirzach, Lo Tinaf, Lo Tignov, Lo Tane Boreacha Ed Sheker, Lo Takmod. Now, when these are preached, and it requires preaching, the Holy Spirit convicts people. I shouldn't have spoken to my mother like that. I shouldn't have uh, used the Lord's name in vain. I shouldn't have stolen that thing I, I, I stole. I shouldn't have uh, had that murderous hatred in my heart to want to kill that person. I shouldn't have a racist uh, hatred of other people that are made in the image of God. Uh, I, I shouldn't approve abortion and uh, other wicked things that society is doing now these days. Uh, I ought to uh, uh, be aware of sexual immorality and avoid it. But, but basically, we get convicted. And when we get convicted, we see we need a Savior. And so the Goel Redeemer, Moshiach Adonainu, we need, suddenly we need him. If we thought we didn't have any sins, we wouldn't need him. If we thought we were righteous, we wouldn't need a doctor. It's only the sick that need a doctor. But this shows us that we are morally sick. And with the tears of repentance, we turn to the Lord. And uh, I put the Lord's Prayer in here. Uh, because... Uh, when we pray, this is how we are supposed to pray. You say, yeah, you're talking about the sinner's prayer. Avinu Shabbat Shemaim Yikadash Shemeha. Our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. 
Tavo Mahutera Yase Resonera. Thy will be done on on earth as it is in heaven. Kabo Bashamaim Ken Baaretz. Eslechem Hukenu Tenlanu Hayom. Give us this day our daily bread. Usalak Lanu Es Hobotenu Kaasher Salaknu Gam Anaknu. And forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors, and lead us not into temptation. Baal Tvienu Lide Nisayon, but deliver us from evil. Kiim Haltsenu Min Hara Kilaha. And then you have the very end of it. For thine is the kingdom, the power, the glory forever. Amen. Hamam laha vahagavara vahatiferet leolamei olamin amen. So we say, forgive us our debtors. And we say, forgive us our debts. As we forgive our debtors. We realize we're in debt to God. We owe God. We're, we have to give our life to God. If we don't give our life to God, we are lost because the Torah, uh, the Torah condemns us. The, 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 the Torah shows us that last verse in Deuteronomy, whoever does not do all of these things is accursed. But cursed is everyone who's hanged on a tree. So Mashiach took our curse. The the just, the tzaddik, the, the tzaddik for the unrighteous. And so there are messianic synagogues starting out, starting up all over the world now, all over the world. And God did this. We take no credit for it at all. I was just a lost actor in Hollywood without any hope. My life was falling apart. I, I, I needed salvation. And then I, I sensed a call into the ministry. And then the Lord led me to this, to this ministry of, of the Shalikas to the Jews. And that's what we're talking about. And we're asking God to raise up Shalikim who will go to the ends of the earth preaching the gospel and go to the lost sheep of the house of Israel and find them and win them to the Lord and bring them into a messianic congregation and teach them all the things that are in this book, the Tanakh, the Brit Hadashah, and that they would have a mikvah uh, that they would turn to the Lord. And that's, and that's what we're praying for. That's, that's our prayer. As we go into Crown Heights and we put these, these Bibles all over Crown Heights, that's our prayer for the Shulahim to go to the ends of the earth preaching the truth and bringing Jewish people to a saving knowledge of Yeshua HaMashiach Aronenu. And right here on page 700, is a prayer that is composed of scriptural words. As people find the Lord, it says, why not pray these words from the Tanakh? I believe, therefore have I spoken. O oh, Hashem, save my nefesh. I admit I have sinned, not only in what I've done, but in what I am. I abhor myself and my idols with godly sorrow for my sin. Turning in Tishuva to my Melitz Yosher in heaven, Moshiach Adonainu, your banner over me, holy Moshiach, is love. You carried my sin away on the tree as the Sair, La Azazel, Yom Kippur, scapegoat Kippur, to satisfy the Torah. You removed my filthy robes and seated me at your banqueting table. I trust you as Hashem's Pesach Korban for my redemption. I open the latch and invite you to come. Through the door of my heart, as my goal and Moshia and Cohen and Kippurah forever, in the name of Ha'av, Haben, and Haruach Hakodesh, and then all of these words 
you can study the reference to see where these words come from in the, in the Tanakh. This is not my prayer. This is God's prayer based on God's words. And I pray that you will go to our website, afii.org forward slash capital O, capital J, capital B dot PDF and download this free of charge. And Lord, I want to pray right now for Crown Heights that the Shulahim would obey God and that they would do what the scriptures tell them to do, to go into all the world and give the Torah of the Moshiach to every Jew, every child of Abraham, every lost soul, and we'll give you the praise. Amen.